back to my mad little corner of the internet that I call my home. Figured it was about time I gave you all a bit of an update, as it's now been, I think, at the time of this getting edited and uploaded, uploaded, be between eight and ten days since the previous part. And a lot of things have happened in that time, namely the radio receiver has arrived, among of its crystals, so I can begin assembling the eye mechanism. The servos still haven't arrived, but they should be here soonish. I need to wire up a battery pack for it, and I'll probably need a new controller at some point, but it'll work for now. The roof has finally been painted in primer and filled. Again. Uh, the coupling hooks have their proper chains on them. And the largest step forward to them all is the fact that all the pieces of the body, so the splashes, the body itself, and the running plate, are now in one piece. So I can begin filling it, if it would focus. There we go. So, the endless filling and sanding has begun. I've also cut out this hole for the eye mechanism so I can screw it in place later. But yes, so everything is now stuck together. There's still more filler that needs to be put on, but it's about ready for its next coat of primer so I can see what I'm doing. And yeah, it should be painted blue at some point in the not too distant future, so look forward to that. And in case anybody is wondering what filler I use, it's... Well, for larger things I use Milliput, because it's just great for building things up, but for all this finer work it's Ron Seal Smooth Finish Filler. It says it's the finest finish, I wouldn't say so unless you've sanded it, but hey, it's a filler and it works and it sticks bloody well to plastic. So, yeah. That's all for this. Right, I've decreed that it is time for an update video. A proper one this time. As I've said, the um, radio receiver had arrived, and I was waiting on the servos and a couple of other things. Indeed, they have arrived at long last, which is why my workbench looks like an absolute tip and why there are servo operating arms everywhere. The first thing that I did was I chopped the end off one of them so I could make a battery pack for the um, receiver. So that just kind of sits there now. And I've made an eye plate, or an eye bracket, whatever the heck you want to call it, which the thing would focus goes just inside the smoke box, like so, where the eye control rods will, will mount so that you can actually, I don't know, move the eyes or something. Something useful, I'm sure. And here is my prized contraption <laughs> a server receiver block. So we've got the two operating servos for left and right movement and up and down movement. Which is screwed onto a styrene base. And then screwed to the back is the receiver itself. And the wires are just bunched up on the base, and the antenna, and the crystal. So here's a prototype control rod which I'm not quite as accurate as I should be, I'm looking through the camera. It just sits in there like that, so that the servos will be able to move the eyes every now and again. I'm currently waiting on a new controller, as the old crappy one that I was going to use doesn't actually work anymore, which annoyed me greatly, but hey, there's not much I can do about it. So I'm just kind of plodding on as much as I can. But there's very little filling left to do, and the... Ooh, if I can... Right, time to zoom out. 
the body is all in one piece, so splashes, body top, so solid. So there's a bit more filling to do, a bit of sanding, and then I should be able to paint that. So in the meantime, I'm working on the animatronics, and then I've got the chassis to build, and the wheels to make, and there should be video of that at some point soon. But for now, this is where we stand. This little block of plastic. A very slow postal system. And not much else. <laughs> I don't... Hello and welcome back to my ever messy workbench. Long last I've finally finished the eye mechanism and its housing, or rather its control surfaces. And as like last time, or as you saw last time, there's receiver, servos, all tied onto this big block, the brass control plate, and the face plate for want of a better term, or the boiler plate that goes inside the smoke box. What you didn't see last time was the control rods. There's a framework soldered onto this brass plate. You can tell it's been soldered by the fact that my finger is now covered in tape. Soldering eyes are hot, be careful. And there's the eye plates which pivot on them. And these two U-shaped control rods, which control the up-down and left-right motions respectively, via these servos. Now I don't have a controller at the moment, but I will show you how they work by means of just forcing the server. So, down, up, down, up, down, They're quite stiff, and left, and right. It won't go too far left, or it actually forces the plastic plate because it's a little stiff. Put that down to newness. It is. Yes. Once you get the remote controller, turn it on, then they will fire away quite merrily. They do occasionally get a little misaligned, but that's just teething problems. I will be working on this a hell of a lot off camera. But, yeah. At the moment, it is moderately complete. So next will be, I suppose, painting the body and the chassis. Or painting the body and building the chassis, I think. So I'll see you then.